guys, I wash my hair this good Sunday afternoon. I'm actually gonna use some new products on my hair. Have you guys heard of Tegan? It's a black owned hair care line. It stands for, thank God, it's natural, okay? All natural. I will be trying their sulfate free shampoo. It says moisture rich, and we love rich shit. <laughs> Um, also using the Triple Moisture Replenishing Conditioner by Tegan. I picked these up at Target yesterday. I also got the Sweet Honey Hair Milk. The Honey Curl Custard. This one I got from the hair store a couple weeks ago. You know, this taking me from my hair store. The rest of the products I got from Target. This is the last one. The Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. It smells really good, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe a little vanilla berry, I don't know. Hopefully the shampoo and stuff smells good soon. I'm trying most of these products today for the first time and I will let y'all know how it goes, how it is. I'm recently, I recently cut off all my damaged hair. So this will be a nice wash and go. This is the first video I'm doing since I did my mini chop. Um, so I'll probably add some photos of that into here. No, actually it's gonna be a whole different video. Okay, we gonna. We film into videos today, okay? We're gonna break it up. Bring in the viewers. So check out the other video. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, but check it out. The comparing my wash and go when it had a lot of damage till now, where I have little to no damage. Um, yeah, that's coming soon. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I miss y'all. I don't know when I'm putting this video out, but I've taken a little hiatus from YouTube to get my life together, mentally, spiritually, all that good stuff. Um, but I'm back, and I'm gonna try to not leave y'all again. I'm trying to keep y'all updated on my hair journey. I have a lot of videos I've been filming. I don't wanna say a lot since my hiatus started. I got like a good handful of videos for y'all, for real, for real. That's gonna be coming, that's gonna be dropping out. So I ain't been in my in my I just haven't really been posting. I forgot what I was about to say. But yeah. Let's get to it. Actually, let me do my outro right now, okay? Just in case I forget to do it. Cause you know, that's something that's really boulevard is, you know. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I missed you guys so much. Let's support each other, okay? Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.
little comfy corner of the couch. I washed and conditioned my hair. I let the conditioner sit on my hair for about 30 minutes. Tied it up in an old t-shirt. It's nice and dry, it's only a tiny bit damp. Um, and now I'm about to start my wash and go process. I have my spray bottle. This is the goat. If you don't have the spray bottle, sis, what are you doing? Sally! <laughs> and then I'm going to do my curl custard followed by the moisturizer. Let me section my hair. My hair is like always parted down the middle. Just I want to call it naturally, but it's definitely not natural. I just wear a center part a lot, and I also wash my hair in halvesies. <laughs> so typically. There was a center part in my head almost at all times. Even when I'm wearing one ponytail, there's always like center part slips aside. So that part is my goat, my go to. And my hair for sections. I like to start in the back for products. And my section this into smaller sections. Probably between five and eight sections. I'll put this. I like working with a small chunk. And you could make sure every strand is covered. And you can kind of tell by the amount of slippage you get when you're running your fingers through it. This is the moisturizer. Ends, okay. Should I have finger coil? I think I'm gonna finger coil. Yeah, I'll finger coil today. With that, you take clumps at a time and coil it up and then let it go and let it spring back and then move on to the next section. Big curls. One section left. These are how the single coils are looking so far. You can tell I have a little bit of damage left on the ends. I probably won't bother it for a little while. But you never know. Sometimes you get that urge. If you know, if you did your big chop, you know, when you get the urge, you can't help it. It just comes over you. So. Yeah. One section so. left. So guys, I finally finished my finger coils, finger curls, coils. This is it. They're a little rough, they're a little tough right now. I had a lot of damaged ends that I noticed after doing these. So I cut them all out. This is about some of them are pretty long. 
What do y'all think? Did these need to be snipped? Um, well, yeah. So right now, I still have a few more I need to do. I don't know if I'll be doing them tonight. Like this. To me, that's kind of damaged. What do y'all think? Is this damage or it just got with the wrong cluster? It looked damaged to me. So I cut off pieces that looked like this. Like it wasn't coiling. And it was super long. You had to go. Especially those extra long ones. But yes, we'll check in the morning when I separate these and see how they look. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you like to see more videos from me, more hair videos, skincare videos coming, and more fashion videos. Okay? Follow your girl. Show me some love. It's free, sis. Okay?